It's Mr. Truck. Mr. Truck here with his 2013 Nissan Frontier. It's a mid-size class. I, this is my pick for the class. The Tacoma is great. It's kind of pricey. This is a very solidly built uh, truck. It's a mid-size. Uh, Ford basically dropped out with the Ranger. This truck is a very solid truck. I always thought it was more refined truck. I like the look of this truck. The Titan has more chrome on the nose. I think this is a little better, uh, more sophisticated look. This is the off-road package. This is the, uh, the Pro 4X. Did take it off-road. Did take it with a lot of trailers right now. We're going to pull a Cimarron two-horse trailer with it and see how that works. The Nissan Pro 4X is an off-road package. All the Frontiers with the 4 liter V6 are 261 horsepower and 281 foot-pounds of torque. It's a 5 speed automatic. Uh, the Pro 4X, you got, you know, got the bigger tires. This has the skid plates. It has hill descent, hill climb, so you can just let it walk up the hills and walk down the hills. It's got locking rear differential. It's a great off-road unit, but this you know, we took it up to Sand Hills, and went as far as we could go, and then we had a trader on the back with a four-wheeler, an ATV, and then we went a little further. So it's a fun vehicle. It's very useful. Good real extender. You can flip it over into the bed, use it to, you know, put your groceries in, your, your ATV tires, whatever you want to. And if you lower the tailgate and let it out, it extends your bed. And here Kelsey will show you how it straps down. It actually has a latching system to your tailgate. You latch it in there and now it's locked into place. You do it on both sides. You simply use your tailgate latch to unlatch it. In today's review of the Nissan Frontier, I've got Kelsey McRobert. I know what guys think about trucks, how they handle, how they feel, and what they like about them. I want to know a woman's perspective on whether or not they'll work pulling trailers. Kelsey pulls trailers. She's got horse trailers, she's got horses, she's got trucks. So she knows what it's like to tow trailers. So let's load your horse, Kelsey. Kelsey, now we're inside the truck, pulling this horse, the two-horse Cimarron. Uh, your gilding is probably about 1,200 pounds. Just about. And the trailer is about 35, so that makes us, you know, 47 or so. We're under 5,000. And this Frontier is rated to tow about 6,100 pounds. So uh, we're at a good, a good uh, margin here, which is how I like to tow horses. Anything that moves, you know, should be about 20% less than what the maximum toy capacity is. It's not like a static load or an RV or you know, a bunch of bales. It's, uh, it's good to have margin. Those horses, they'll dance around a little bit, not quite as much as cattle, but they do swat flies, and their grass center gravity is pretty tall. So what do you think? This, uh, I mean, this is a crew cab. It's not in you know, a full-size pickup, and we're within our limits. Uh, how does it feel to you? It's smooth. It drives really nice. Yeah. It's not swaying too much? I'm not at all. I'd almost recommend a weight distributing hitch for the size of a truck, just because of the width of the trailer. and and uh, the weight difference, but uh, I'm glad you like you like the way it drives. You pull horse trailers, and you know what the maximum load you usually tow is? Are you 10,000? I'm 10,000 and I want to say 12. 12? So it cool. just depends on the trailer that we have. You're probably more used to diesels than you are these little trucks. I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll get you in the next diesel we get. This is nice. We're in the back roads here in the front range of Colorado. 
So you know we're a thousand, we're five thousand and some feet above sea level, almost a mile. And it uh, seems to be handling it. We haven't swerved off the road or anything. We got the air conditioner on, so we're putting this to a real test. Yep. Have you tried to accelerate? I know you don't, you don't accelerate really fast with horses, but it's you know I'm sure it's not uh, like what you're used to with a diesel. But did you get it's it on on, on on ramp on the I-25? Easy. I'm doing 60 right now. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. Pretty good speed. That's we're on a secondary road, so 65 is probably our limit. Nice country, lots of horses out here, and oil wells, and alfalfa fields. I'm trying to match the trader to the truck, and I think it's about as close as we're going to get on this. But uh, I'm pretty well impressed with the Frontier. 261 horsepower, 281 foot pounds of torque. I wish it had a six speed, but that's probably next generation coming out. It's a nice package. This is, uh, like I say, my favorite truck in this segment. If I had lots of money, I'd probably like the Tacoma more, but this, I think, is more of a, of a value. You can buy this one, aren't you? You can just leave it with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can't fall in love with these trucks. That's me. I get different trucks in every week, and if you start liking them too much, you never let them go. And I get some awfully nice trucks to play with, and this is one of them. Now, this says locking rear differential. This is you know, it's an off-road package on the Pro 4X skid plates. It's got the uh, hill descent, hill climb, which is, is nice. I'm going to go off roading with this in Colorado. We've got a few rocks to climb on up here, so this will work well. Well, we better get this horse home after a while and see how much of a mess I have to clean out of the trailer. I think, and I didn't, there's an overdrive button to shut the overdrive off. It doesn't have tow mode, but I think if you want to, you can shut the overdrive off. But we're not going to hit that speed anyway. But how's the transmission working for you? It's nice and it's smooth even with a load. Well, that's good. That's good. That's what you want. You don't really want to be jerking all over the place. Some of the heavy duty transmissions tend to do that, have a little more line pressure and they jerk more. But yeah, this looks like you're doing really well and smooth and it fits you well. Now, that's the thing about two. I've, I've got my truck hat on. It's got a three inch brim, a three inch crown, which fits most trucks. That's the problem, you know, if you want to wear a cowboy hat in a pickup truck, you got the head wrist issue and sometimes even the A pillar issue. But this one, uh, this has even been a mini truck, the mid-sized class, with the moonroof, which you lose, you lose an inch and a half of the moonroof. I still got plenty of room to wear this hat. So uh, I'm only 5'8", I'm not a, uh, not a basketball player. But uh, it's got enough room in the cab for me. I've had the grandkids in the back seat, the child seats, and they were comfortable. I'm not sure I'd want to ride the back of this myself. But, you know, the crew cab is what everybody wants, and this is a nice one. Mr. Truck signing off for another adventure and this is Kelsey signing off. Having fun.